When you blame other individuals, you become resentful. And resentment leads to pain and suffering. And you never change your life. Hey man, welcome to the Better My YouTube channel. My name is David, man. I'm super excited that you're tuning in. Hey, if this is your first time, I just want to tell you about the Better Man YouTube channel. You know, the Better Man, I challenge men to embrace their masculinity, develop their masculine competence, and grow in the seven key areas of life, spiritual, mental, physical, career, relationship, financial, and social, so that men can become powerful and formidable and take their proper place in society. Hey, if you're interested in those type of content, this is the right place for you to be. Hey, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification button, and make sure you always like the, uh, the video, man. I'm super excited, man. The topic for today I want to talk to you about is blaming and taking responsibility. And I just want to share a quote with you by Darren Hardy. It says, wherever you are today, good or bad, it's your own fault. You and only you are 100% responsible for all the results and outcome in your life. Isn't that so true? But the trick that I see today that's so common among men, and especially young men, is the fact that they always have this blame list. They always blame other individuals for their lives, right? You ask them, like, why are you not doing so well in your life, right? Why are you not successful? Why are you not pursuing your dreams? They always have all this blame list, right? It is my parents. It's how I was raised. It's my childhood trauma. It's the economy. It's the pay scale. Or have you seen inflation? It's my employer. It's my negative neighbors. It's my family, right? They're always a victim. It's always someone else's fault. And that abdicate them from taking responsibility and changing their lives, man. And what happened is when you blame other individuals, you become resentful. And resentment leads to pain and suffering. And you never change your life. You never take actions to change your life. Let me ask you in your life, who are you blaming for every outcome in your life? Well, let me just tell you one thing, man. You should only blame yourself. Because all the outcome in your life have led to where you are today by your actions. And you have to take responsibility. You have to take ownership of your life. Because that's what only led to you changing your life, taking consistent actions to change your life. And no one is going to come and save you. No one is going to come and do it for you. Only you can. You can continue life blaming everybody else and never taking the look in the mirror that it is your own fault. Right? Because that's the easy way out. But becoming a better man is not taking the easy way out. It's taking that introspective reflection and looking yourself in the mirror and saying, you know what? I have to change. I have to make the choices and the positive actions to change my life right now. And let me tell you a story about a guy that did that. His name is Soldier Nixon. Soldier Nixon was uh, an officer in the Soviet Union during World War II. Found himself in a gulag camp, which was a concentration camp. If you uh, want someone to blame in your life, right? It, it was Stalin and Adolf Hitler, right? He found himself in a gulag camp and a concentration camp. Right? I mean, he had a horrible life. He had bad experience, man. Life was horrible, man, for Soldier Nixon in, the, in this school life camp. But what he did was, he reflected back on his life and he says, What did I do by my own action? What are the things that I did? that have brought me to where I am today in this gulag camp, in this concentration camp. So he reflected back on his life and he found out every choice, every decision that he made. And he said, what would happen if I take responsibility right now and I take the actions that I need to correct those choices? And that's why he wrote the book called The Gulag of Archipelago. And this book is one of the reasons that led to the dissolution of the Soviet Union. Could you imagine that? It was his confessions that led to the dissolution of the Soviet Union. And so many people have done that. Jim Rohn has done that, right? Jim Rohn had all his blameless. He was always blaming other individuals. But his, his mentor, right, our chef says, Hey, Jim Rohn, you put everybody on your blameless, but you are missing on that blameless. You, only you are responsible for all those outcomes in your life. Isn't that so true? And Jim Rohn ended up taking responsibility and changing his own life. And I was just like that too. Barely making $20,000, man. Life was rough for me, man. I had every choice to blame everyone, man. I, I, was, uh, I was born in Africa, man. Nobody has ever been educated in my family. I have every right to blame everyone in my life. But you know what I did? I took ownership. I said, 
I am where I am because of the actions that I've taken. And I'm going to take responsibility. And I'm going to take action to change my life. And I did, man. I went back to school, man. I got my degree in nursing. I became one of the most certified critical care nurses, making up to $200,000 a year. I worked my butt off in the gym. I read the books. I went to the seminars. Now I'm getting my doctorate. I changed my life. And that's what happens when you take ownership, when you take responsibility in your life, man. You see this massive result, man, in your life because you're not blaming anyone. Let me tell you one thing, man. It's not what happens to you. It's what you do about what happened. It's so true. Event happens to all of us, but our response to that event leads to the result in your life. I want to challenge you today as the better man going forward in your life. I want you to embrace this part of extreme ownership, taking responsibility that it is your life, that you are going to change it. Man, challenge yourself. Like, I am going to change it. For example, let's say you want to take complete ownership of your physical area of your life. You start going to the gym. You start working out. You start eating healthy. You start drinking water instead of drinking soda. I mean, basic fundamentals. Maybe you're making a little bit of money, like $15 an hour. You, you want to you wanna make a lot of money, man. You want to have a great life, man. You say, you know what? I'm going to go back to school to improve my career and choose a career path that actually pay, like in the STEM field. You take ownership and you take those actions. That's what it takes, man, in life. Extreme ownership leads to action. And I know that you were born to do something great in your life. I know that you were born to make a difference and live a life of success, man. Don't let blaming, victimhood, pointing fingers take that away from you. I believe in you. I believe in you so much. I don't know if you believe in yourself and start taking responsibility today. Man, I am so excited for you, man. And I guarantee you, man, if you continue to take responsibility, if you continue to take actions in your life, man, to make a massive difference, man, you will see the results again in your life. What is the gap between knowing and result? Action, right? A lot of people know what to do, but they don't do it, man. And that's why they never see the result. So if you listen today and you get this message, man, let me tell you, man, you can watch all the YouTube videos that you want. You can watch everything. You can read all the freaking damn book that you want, man. But I can guarantee it's not going to make no difference in your life if you don't take action. And not only taking action one time, but taking action consistently over and over, year and year. And that action compounds and it leads to massive results. Whenever you see people that are successful, they are successful because of that. They take action. And I hope you can take action today on this message, man. I thank you so much, man. Hey, I so appreciate you for being here. I'm deeply grateful again. Continue to grow. Continue to become better. Keep faith. Never give up. I believe you can. Be the better man. You are the better man. Thank you so much. Have a good one.